sometimes you just got too many pet peeves like you need to let go. Oh. So I'm I'm growing. Mm. I'm growing in that in that aspect and I'm kinda of proud of it. Um but yeah, what oh, we're waiting on the music too. No, 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 we're just oh, we're doing voices right now. Bad. If I don't have to look for it. Bad. So we can see what's going on. Yep, so. So, so back to the, back to the D conversation you was having. No, you were saying that, um, there's neighborhoods. But you know what? His, his was funny. At home, I get out the car maybe two, three o'clock in the morning and I'm kind of looking around like, okay, I'm about to get, I need to do this quick, right? I don't sit in my car long because I got caught slipping in my car before. And so I don't sit in my car long. When I get, when I park, I'm out quick. I jump out, like, bing. And I, I take my seatbelt, my seatbelt is off and I'm pulling in. So when I get out, I get out. So I'm looking on my shoulder, it's 3 in the morning. But where I live now, I can pull up at 3 in the morning and instead of me worrying about who coming for me, they worry about me coming in. See the difference? Mm. So they looking at me like, Oh, I understand. Is he going to be chill? But why, but why, why do you feel like that don't happen in Detroit? Because that happened in Detroit too. Like, I, I come in at 3 o'clock and nobody even may be sleeping. And I, I, they well, probably looking at Washington. Real, what kind of station where you, where you at? East Point. I'm just trying to tell you. Oh, you mean you like, you like close places rate. in Detroit. And it's, it's, I would say, a suburb, suburbs of Detroit. Um, and places that are just as quiet and just yeah. as safe. Yeah, I just Rose feel Hill like Park that. is beautiful. I go yeah. over there all the time. I go to Panda on Grand River. It's lots of, it's lots of plug. places in the you know, I like that. It's beautiful. I'm not going to let nobody just, you know, just because you ain't know why. Mm. No, but you know, I, I look, I, I, she's not doing it. Because I've been here, to, I, I I'm not going to tell my age, but I will say I've been here quite a <laughs> while, okay? <laughs> And I have always gone to, you know, and I just feel, maybe I should, I should just say, I, you know, I am blessed. I got angels all around me. But I get up and I go to the gas station when I feel like it. People would advise me not to do things like that, but, you know, I'm, I've I, always I been. I Yeah, and so I, I still take cautious of it now, but, like, it was a time in my life, like, for a very long time living here that I would just. If I felt like, I ain't gonna lie, right now, I got certain place. I mean, certain gas stations I won't go to now. Everybody have to use wisdom. You know, like the uh, when Marvin Winers was on Dexter and Linwood. <laughs> <laughs> really? Well, hold on, hold on. You gotta so, me now, now. wait a so, minute. You know, nobody goes to Dexter and Linwood right in the Maserati at whatever time it was. No, he was in the yeah, afternoon. That's a daylight. Oh, oh bro, bro, that's crazy. That's like five in the afternoon. That's crazy. On, on, on Maserati? Saturday. On Linwood. Yeah. Okay. On Linwood right there. That, Gas station right, bad, right across from McDonald's. Bad. Did he have on the Rodney T-shirt? Pretty much. Okay, that. So you know we have to we we Detroiters. Excuse me, look, I'm not even originally from. I'm a true Detroiter now though. Okay. Yeah. Once you come here, you hear. Yeah. Yourself. So yeah. we Detroiters know the places we can go, and we know the places we cannot go, and we exercise. Did those. you see the sign when you cross the border, yeah. Michigan? We not friendly. Did you see that? <laughs> oh, okay, bad. <laughs> <laughs> Where's that? I'm saying but we're not friendly right, though. That's man. very true. We're not. Yo. Welcome to Michigan. I'm more friendlier than a lot of people. I like, I mean, you know, I that, like to That's why I got a, got a west side, east side flag. Because I had, I've lived on the east side for like two years. And I swear I walked into CVS and I'm like, hey, what's up? Even the clerk was like, just look me up and down. I'm like, I'm going to ride the place or something. But you know, but see, east side get a bad rep though. And, and it's unfortunate because my aunt live on Beaconsfield. <laughs> it's, it's chill. <laughs> it really is. This parts of the east side is chill. And when you yeah, watch, yeah. It, when you watch Fox News or WDIV, all that, when you see a lot of stuff, it's happening on the west side. Of the Man, east. the west side. I'm trying to tell you, that's it's where lit. it all go down. It's at. lit. I'm telling you, that's where all the. the I guess, you know, if you had oh. to make a contrast, I don't want to get two, but I'm just saying, yeah, the West Side, they on oh, a whole nother. No, but you know, it tripped me out because how the divide is of the East and the West, like me not being originally from Detroit, uh -huh. how Detroit people always make those two, like, contrasts between the East and the West, like, it's Detroit, but if you, if y'all act like it's two different countries or two different states. <laughs> <laughs> or two cities within a city is like right, I never in understood the 70s that. And the 80s though, that's how it was. Um, I, I don't see any difference now, but it was clearly kind of a difference because uh, my cousins grew up on the east side, so it was it was a difference. Yeah. Um, 
and since we didn't have a car, some most of our family didn't have cars, we saw each other rarely, right? Mm -hmm. So you might saw them when they was 13, then bing, you pop up, they 16, you see them again, they east side, you know, hey, what's up, cuz, what's up? And then it's a vibe that you feel. Yeah. You know, it's a lingo, it's a vibe. Um, it's, it's just it's just different. You know, east side people are, to me, in my opinion, have, are usually a little laid back, a little down home kind of thing. Mm -hmm. West side people fly, you know, they fly. Flashy. Flashy. Fly, mm -hmm. flashy. Eastside people be flashy too, though. <laughs> I think flash and Eastside people. I'm sorry, maybe I shouldn't. This people are probably be mad at me if I say this. No, <laughs> but the Eastside people be like <laughs> ghetto flashy, and the Westside <laughs> people be like looking like real like sometimes rich flashy. Like they be having it together a little but bit more fine saying, tuned cause, cause or it's refined. Kind of forced. Yes, it's, it's, cl it's cleaner. Yeah, maybe you know, yeah. but. I don't know. Then when I went, to, I went to the East Side too, and I got, you know, I got, I saw some East Side game. You know, East Side came a little different than the West Side. You know, even when you just do the contrast between, they might say between West Side and East Side girls. You know, like, like it's just, it's good, and I guess it's different in its own unique way, but it's good in its own unique way. So I guess All you right. can take something so, from each. I mean, so so check it out. I never met an East Side girl that couldn't cook. This is what I got. Dog, I promise you, for real. Right? So the first time, I've been married, I've been married three times, right? So the first time I you got married, married three times? Three times. This is my third marriage, Shut right? Shut up. No, that's real talk. So the first time I got married, um, I, I, I want to remember truthfully the meal that I came home to from my wife from the West Side. She cooked. She said, I'm cooking dinner. Don't stop. Don't get nothing. I'm cooking dinner. So when I came home, it was the absolute worst dinner I ever cooked, and I had never been used to anybody cooking that what bad. What did she cook? Um, it was, oh, got it, wing beans, hash browns, literally hash browns, like the hash browns, the shape of the ones at McDonald's. <laughs> and the square hash browns. Like that. It was, it was she... like it was like a meal of a, a kid with a bag. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and so I looked at this, and I'm like, you let me stop, stop, pass up, bro. Yeah. You let me stop, stop, pass up. Well, I could have got a. You didn't say that meal. though. You ate it. Um, I faked it. <laughs> I faked it. I'm good at chewing, spitting out later. Mm. Um, I, I do that. Um, if I don't like it, it's, that's how it's gonna go down. Um, I can't fake that. Yeah. So I think she's the reason why I got an ulcer now. For real? To be honest, how long cool. was you married to her? <sighs> yeah. And then your second wife, that, how that was long. that cooking? <laughs> that long, just how? now. See that? <laughs> <laughs> Because we're trying to get to this east side wife that could cook. So, so, so she me, was was the east side one the second or the third? All right, let me tell you who can cook. Like um, me now can't. She, she, period. She, you she better shut it down because you about to get in slay. trouble. No, she slay flat out. What'd she you just say? does it. Um, yeah. She, she cooks. cooks. Okay. She cooks, but I'm considerate because of the shift she works. Yeah. So she works like 10 to 7, 10 to 8. Mm -hmm. So I mean, when you come home, you know, I'm, yeah. like, I'm a grown man. I'll find me something to eat. I'll make my own. Yeah. Way. Um. But I, when I get it, I get it, and it's good. But yeah. when I don't get it, you know, you gotta um, fend for yourself. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's the it's the number it's the numbered menu. But One you know what five. you what what, what what would be nice too? Do you, can you cook? Yeah, I can cook. I cook really well. Well, then you should cook. Then when well, she can't cook, well, when I, do, I, cook I cook sometimes. But uh -huh. you know, I'm tired too. Like. You know. But what? Okay, but with the crock pot, like the crock pot is magical. Man, you know I'm afraid of crock pots. <laughs> I'm afraid of cooking on crock pots and leaving them on when I leave the crib. No, the crock pot is for that. That's what if it's I, made for. See, it's specifically I, made man. for you to be able to put pop something in it, so, yo, put some I, butter, some olive oil, some seasoning, and get you some look. concoctions together. So let me tell you, and I put the top on it and set it for eight hours on medium or high heat, and you will come home. Your house gonna be smelling immaculate, okay. and your meal will be done, and you'll be having dinner. I feel you. So check it out. Everybody, everybody did something really weird over the pandemic, right? So for me, here's my fear of crock pots and leaving the house. I don't care if my clothes burned down. I don't care if my jewelry burned down, my laptops, all that. Over the pandemic, I bought one pair of every model Air Jordan shoe ever made. <laughs> Why? So I, so I have almost 150 pair of Jordans out. Why? I don't know. It was COVID. I was trapped in the house. It was, it was DoorDash so and Jordans. So you was shopping. Okay. It was DoorDash and Jordans. That's what it was. <laughs> that was that was my break. So if my Jordans burn out, I'm done. Like, I'm going to be, you know, 
Uh, normally, I'm like, in, in bad situations, I'm like, okay, we got insurance. We good. Just just call it a wrap. Let's oh, so what you're saying is if you leave a crock pot on, it's and possible my, that the house could burn bruh, down. And you ain't trying to lose your collection of Jordans. At all. And I don't collect them. I actually wear them. I wear a pair of shoes every day. But here's the thing. Crock pot ain't going to burn nothing up unless you got an electrical problem in your house. Yeah. Now, your electrical bill, your electrical wire is not together. I don't know. Terry, you ever heard of crock pot fire? I don't know. I ain't never heard of one. It's funny. What TV show was that? See, there we go. <laughs> there well, we go. Crock -pot what TV fire. show was that? It was a crock pot that set the building on fire. Oh, uh -uh. See, there we go. And there we go. It was like a souvenir. Over a five dollar pot roast. Your Jordan collection is gone. Yeah. I ain't never heard no crock pot. I didn't heard. I didn't heard of a five dollar pot roast. I ain't uh, never heard no. But you know what? Because there's electrical like issues and stuff in the walls, and I can see how that could occur. Maybe. Yeah. But so you don't think because you never know what caused the electrical fire. Like that, nobody knows. The, so leave the, the crop pot on. Firemen just come. You know, you leave, don't know put, why. Put the media in at, at seven thirty. I'm saying fire, in my drive. in my experience. Of come the, home at five. The meat is still cooking. I'm good. You you good, good good. And you got faith in that. I, I have experience in that. Okay. In Minnesota, or Michigan. Both. Okay, bet. Because I don't know. Maybe yeah. crop pots work better in Minnesota. <laughs> <laughs> If that's the case, then we got a lawsuit. Well, yeah, yeah, we do, we do, and I'm nervous about it. I'm nervous about it. I just think. Well, anyway, so yeah. Why can't we just do takeout? Cause it's not good for you. Who says? Everybody, you know, it's so not it's good no for you. No good takeout, Melody. I mean, it's some good takeout. Like we can get Thai food, maybe takeout is good. Yeah, but right. more, but not, but the the real. If I just had to be Angel's advocate. We should be cooking our food. We should be growing our food. It's amazing. Even though I'm not doing yeah, it. It's the real nonsense. Here's some nonsense. It's amazing that everybody says Asian food is always healthy. It's not because all that rice. I see fat Asians. Food. It's fat Asians. Yeah. It's but no, I like Thai food. I like the, the, the veggies. It's too spicy. You don't have to get it spicy. Get it get it no spice. But it's, but, but some of it's, it's fattening though. It's fat Chinese Rice food. is rice just is car our carbs, they turn to sugar. Okay. Um so rice is not good for us at, at all. Like, like actually, you ever seen a fat Chinese person? You ever seen it? No. Wow, see. But she's young, though. She's in sixth grade. So, I have. So she will, by the time she's 18, she'll sit that tiny person. I mean, they, they do exist. Yeah. Well, it's not a lot of them, though. But I don't think it's because they eat healthy. I think it's something else. We we just got to be. What do you think it is? Ask me one more time what you say. What do you think it is? What? Chinese people, like, you said they're, you know, they're healthy, but I don't think they're all healthy. So why do you think they're always so slim? What do you think it is? They drink a lot of tea and they do eat healthy. Well, and they don't I don't think they eat as much as us. Melly has an answer. What would you like to say? Take your mask off. Um I've seen Chinese people like take um pills for like weight and stuff. Oh, oh there we go. That? Right, oh. see. See? Mm -hmm. Keto pills at the studio right quick. Because my folks come in here at six. So we're gonna go to the big studio. Oh, oh we okay. can show out. Yep. Play a little music. Yep. We need to play some upbeat. So let's go over there for a couple of minutes. Okay. Play some upbeat so we can have some fun. Okay. Going on? Yep.